Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another, why did I say it like that? Yet another Workflow Wednesday. For those of you who don't know what Workflow Wednesday is, I'm trying to increase your workflow speed, make you more efficient every single Wednesday. So subscribe to the channel and I'm trying to get a video out every Wednesday to teach you guys new things and make you a better editor. Today, we are talking about the two tools you should be using to remove anything from a photo. Let's get into it. So we've got our photo up in Photoshop. You can see this beautiful landscape with some jamoke who just decided to work his way into the photo here. Who's this guy? What an idiot. Just kidding, it's me. But let's say, you know, you don't want that random stranger in your photos. You want to get them out completely, but you want to make it look believable. So the first tool you're going to use and the first tool we are going to use is the content aware tool. There's two ways of doing this. One way is the original way that Photoshop originally came with. So let's just very loosely select our subject that we want removed. Get out of here, buddy. Okay, once we have him selected, we are going to right click, go to fill, and go content aware. And what Photoshop's gonna do is it's gonna use the surrounding pixels and area to just absolutely eliminate that guy. No problem. Now in this case, it ended up working pretty well, so there's not much work to be done, but I will show you guys what needs to be done in the event that eh, it didn't work out so well. The second thing, it's kind of like option 1B, is still the content aware fill tool. You have your subject that you want to move selected, but instead of right clicking and clicking content aware, you're going to go up to edit and content aware fill. This is in the newer Photoshop program, so if your Photoshop program doesn't have this, you kind of can't take advantage of this option, but there's still workarounds that we'll get into. So what Photoshop does is select an area and highlight it green and that's where it's going to pick samples from to fill up what you want to replace. Now in our instance there's no sky surrounding me that I want to remove so I'm going to erase that green from the sky and then on the right side Photoshop will give you a preview of what that's going to look like. It looks good so you can just hit OK, boom. Basically two ways of getting the same result. In some instances Option 1A will work a little bit better, but both viable options. And that leads us into the second tool that's gonna help you replace that object perfectly without any signs of like visible work going on, you know? So people don't be like, ah, I don't know, it looks funny over there. We don't want that. All right, to showcase our second tool, I pulled up this picture right here. Oh, look at that lovely rainbow. But this guy driving in his white Volkswagen just ruin the whole picture. So, second tool you can use is the patch tool. And for this one, all you do is just draw around your object that you want to remove and release and it'll select it. And what you're going to do after that is click the object you want to remove and just drag it along to a separate area. You're basically sampling a different section of the photo to replace that picture. Photoshop is incredibly smart, scary for the future with all this technology and artificial intelligence. It's going to automatically adjust the lighting and compensate properly to eliminate that part of the photo and make it look completely natural. Now, when I dragged it over, if you look here, it doesn't really add up. So we're just going to select that again, drag to another part, kind of line up that road so it looks natural. Boom. Problem solved. This is a little crack right here in the road. Let's just zoop. Wonderful. Now when you zoom out, you can't even tell there was a car there. See you later, Volkswagen. So, for this Workflow Wednesday, if you guys can use both of those tools in tandem, I promise you that when you're removing stuff from photos, if you don't like it, if it kind of leaves like a, a haloed edge or something that kind of tips off the viewer that something was there, combine the two together. Use the Content Aware Fill and then use the Patch Tool to fix off any weird lines or sample from other parts of the photo so that you get that perfect finish. And that's all there is to it. Do that, you can remove anything in Photoshop. I guarantee it, and I would love to see some before and after photos, so tag me on Instagram, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll be back next Wednesday with more tips for you beauties. Love ya!